So when I put it in cellophane, it's going to look so beautiful. I know my camera shut off. So, as you can hear it, okay, so there it is, what it looks like there. Now watch when I flap this over, because I, I don't know why I'm, I guess you can call me a perfectionist, because I want it to be like, stick down perfect, all the way across. Sorry if I'm a little more perfectionist or something, whatever it is that you want to call it. Get all the errors out of that, look at that, it lays flat and beautiful. And they put it in this beautiful bag so you can use it over and over and over. Even if the sticky part doesn't get so great, what you can do is just um, keep it in the bag, fold it over, you know, fold this part over. And it keeps it nice and beautifully and protected. But I am in so in love with this dress as if you could not tell. Oh, you know what? I didn't check to make sure. I'm busy talking. I mean, I'm not sure I got the one sleeve done in the right way, the way I wanted it to. So it can kind of lay flat. Where it kind of holds it open. So that I did not check on too great on. Oh, where did it go? Okay. Okay, I think I got it. I can. It's so beautiful that you are dressed. And now I have also a dress and I have Cinderella the remake dress, the one that came out. The dress I would love to get next, only if it's possible, is um, Beauty and the Beast. I'm not too fond for the movie so much per se as the remake of it, but I do love the dress. The dress I'm in love with. Um, to me, I thought the movie was okay the remake of it. I mean, I had the original Beauty and the Beast, you know, the cartoon. Um, the remake is okay. I thought they could have done certain things differently or add more things to the movie. I'm not sure exactly what was missing, but it seemed like it was missing something. I can't figure out what it's missing, but to me, the movie, I thought could have been better. I'm not saying the movie was horrible. It was an okay movie. It's just I would not pay the price that how much it is in stores right now. I would wait till it goes like really good on sale, like maybe possibly Black Friday-ish. But I would definitely not pay more than $20 for, for the remake of Beauty and the Beast. Because I thought it was only an okay movie. I thought they could have done more. I don't know what was really missing. I just know there could have been more. I love the costumes in the movie. I love... Um, the new remake of the yellow dress. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it. It's just, I only like the movie. I don't love the movie, I like the movie. I just like the movie. Um, I like the Beauty, I love the Beauty and the Beast, the cartoon one. It's just as far as the remake with real people, I thought they could have been better. Like it's missing something. I'm not sure if all of you agree. I know some of you probably won't be like, what are you talking about? It was a great movie. It's an okay movie. It was a good movie, but I thought it could have been better. Like Frozen, I know that's a cartoon one. That's great. Um, they did a season, or I call it a season, um, like a show once upon a time. And that was really good because I got to see that on YouTube. And that was pretty good. Um, Cinderella, the remake. I love her dress. I love the movie. I loved how everything came into play. Such an awesome, great movie. It was, I, I, it, to me, it seemed like it was not missing anything. Like everything came right in place. Everything was great about it. Cartoon Cinderella, I love too. And I also have a Cinderella story. Um, that's the first one. The second one's called uh, Another Cinderella Story. Um, those are Disney movies, but they're not cartoonish. 
but I thought that it could have been better, the new Beauty and the Beast. I don't know. I thought it was missing something. Like, I don't know if it's because they used real people or what, but I thought it could have been a whole lot better. I'm not sure why, but I thought it could have been better than what it was. But everybody's going to have a different takes on that. That's just my take on that. But this dress is beautiful. Uh, the Cinderella dress I have is beautiful. And now I would like to get um, Beauty and the Beast, the remake of her dress, which is the yellow dress um, if it has to grits. I did find one on eBay. Here's what I did not like about it though. It, did, it had the same flair, it had the same design, but it didn't have the sequence on the dress. It was too plain. I feel like, okay, if I'm going to pay the money for it, I want it to be... Maybe not every single, like, single sequence, but it had, like, the little designs and everything from the sequence. I thought they should have used that or some kind of design on the dress, not just plain. Like, it's like taking this dress, take away the sequence, and all you have is just snowflakes here, nothing on top, just this right here. And then the sleeve, let it be, um, I guess maybe, like, plain sleeve. That's what it would look like. So then you'd be like, okay, but the top had um, satin and sequins on top. And then everything else was white and with snowflakes. And obviously she had a train um, in the back and stuff like that. It could be a little bit different, but again, you want all the... You want what you actually dream about. And I thought the same thing when I seen the dress on eBay. It looked really good made. But I felt like it was missing pieces to go onto the dress. It was just too plain. Perfect yellow, perfect style, everything is just, it was just too plain. There was no design to it. Um, I guess that's how I feel about the new Cinderella movie. I mean Cinderella. Beauty Beast movie is that I felt like it was too, I don't want to say too plain, but something was missing. And I felt like they could have done more. Um, good movie, uh, it's okay. I thought I found it better. Although it's going to say, oh, what are you talking about? That's a great movie. Well, everybody's got their different ways of seeing things. Because if we all liked the same thing and thought everything the same, um, nobody would see anything differently. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I guess that'd be it because, uh, I, I talked about the dress. I did an opening, um. The little bag I got from the fair. This right here, I definitely will give them great feedback. And then maybe I'll do a separate video. That way you know where to get this dress at. And um, because besides it saying China, they usually, some are saying China. And then the ones that say like they're in the States, those are the ones that have the transparent. Um, but you can always ask the seller too, like, does it have the right terrain, not the transparent terrain? Um, transparent one is kind of like, um, to me, it, I don't want to say it looks cheap. It's got like a little, like, when you think of transparent, you think like, okay, it's see-through. Yes, that's true, but it has like little different colors in it, like, um... In the lighting, it comes to be, like, different uh, color. Like, it, to me, it doesn't seem like it's off on the movie. Like, the way I showed you on here, it's pure white. The other one is not. It's got this multi-color transparent type of thing. If you know what I'm talking about, you can go on there and see it. Um, but, yeah, that's that. Um, also, um... I'm not exactly how to say it, but it's S-U-Z-H-O-U, China. That's where it usually comes from. So, yeah, jump on that. I mean, you get it in, in about two weeks. Uh, it took two weeks for this to come in. It took two weeks for Cinderella to come in. That's usually, I know they give you the estimate, but this is how long it took. And it was going on three weeks, but that was fine because... You're getting great quality, and you definitely get it. It's not like you don't get it and it doesn't show up. Um, the, and it's really good priced. This here, 
is priced what twelve fifty.